welcome to an episode of Dirtying the Frame. Today we are talking about Lyft on Netflix now, streaming now on Netflix. Netflix, Dun -dun. give us some money. <laughs> <laughs> if I say Netflix 50 times, how much money do we get? <laughs> yeah, yeah, zero. Oh, but, all right. Um, main attraction quick summary, friends, for those of you who haven't seen this. A master thief is wooed by his ex-girlfriend and the FBI to pull off an impossible heist with his international crew on a 777 passenger flight from London to Zurich. That logline doesn't get you, I don't know what will. I like it. Do you like it? <laughs> I think that's kind of dope. I liked it's, it when I read it. I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah, I, I, um, I think we'll talk about it during this pod, but like, I'm in on any heist. Give me the heist. Me too. I love a heist. Is man. that all of us Americans? I think so, <laughs> man. I think so. I'd like... Uh, people, you might not know Sarah if you know her well. If you want to win her over, invite her over, put Inside Man on, she'll love you to death. Great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal film. Highly underrated. <laughs> um, one word summary, Asad. Okay. One, two, three. Marshmallows. Surprising. Marshmallows. Empty calories, but so fun to eat. Okay. Oh, I dig <laughs> it. Okay. All right. I'm uh, Surprising for me. Um, marshmallows are gross, fam. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. We don't want to argue about that. Anyway, I mean, insert um, whatever you want. Reese's sticks, I don't know. Whatever you want to, whatever you think is fun to eat, but empty calories. I said surprising, and I'll be quick here before we go into the log line of the film. Oh, you already did. I'm sorry. I'm Drugs. Well been paying I'm attention. glad this pod doesn't drug test. Um, I actually, this was the movie that I'm like, okay, fine. I finally get it, Netflix. Maybe I've been wrong. This is, the, this, maybe they're creating their own genre, which is like, this is a Netflix movie. Yes, 100%. And this is the first movie, sorry I'm late, that I'm like, oh, I actually know this feel now because Netflix has been putting out these type of movies, Red Notice, all that, you know, like, I'm like, okay, I'm just in. I mean, my expectations are low and I'm in to have a little fun. 100%. That's yeah. exactly how I felt. I was mm -hmm. like, well, what do we expect? You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, first thoughts, mine were, this movie was fun. Assad. Mm -hmm. We're going to go straight into it with a little quiz question for you. Who is the better dramatic actor? Hmm. The Rock or Kevin Hart? I'm going to say The Rock. Agreed. And it's barely by like one point on the BMI. I, I, it, it's, it's barely. But I think, um, I think it's, it, oh, do you think so too? Oh, yeah. And okay. I think, I don't think it's barely. I think it's probably by a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I really f*** with Kevin Hart because he does everything. Yes. And I think he works hard. And actually, this is surprising that he can't figure out the acting portion. Because he's such a hard worker and everything Kevin Hart's adopted, he's like worked really hard at. And uh, at the beginning, I thought, I'm like, oh, I just can't unsee it being Kevin Hart. But halfway through the movie, I'm like, oh, yeah, these are these line readings are bad. His readings of these lines are, are really bad. I have a theory about that. What's that? I thought a lot about this movie today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a lot of time on my hands if anyone wants to hang out. <laughs> my, my thought was, is Kevin Hart such a big star now? And he's got a first look deal with Netflix. So this is the Kevin Hart show, and he's got a ton of money and a ton of people surrounding him that the director of this film didn't feel like he could really say anything to him. I don't know, man. The director, I've, I've been a big fan of F. Gary Gray for a long time. He's done rap music videos before he started getting into full-length films, and he's done, like, you know, Set It Off, The Negotiator, Friday, which we, surprising. Sarah hasn't seen Friday, guys. She might look Call white. Call me out, bro. But, why, oh, are you, why, why, why are you? Sorry. Oh. But, but viewers at home know how ridiculous it is that Sarah hasn't seen Friday. Uh, the Italian job as well, so he's done another heist movie, too. So um, he's an established director. He's a smart director. But I think you might have a point where it's like, I, it, it, maybe it's tough to tell Kevin Hart what to do at this point. And maybe that's just like the best version you could get at Kevin Hart. My theory, though, or just like what sticks in my craw a little bit is like his comedy. And I don't know how you feel about Kevin Hart's comedy, good or bad, but his comedy is all about delivery. Mm. His jokes are all about the delivery because his jokes aren't on paper that funny, um, but he delivers things really well. And it's crazy when like making that transference to actor dramatic. I don't know if this is dramatic, but it's more serious that mm -hmm. the delivery of the lines just feels so it falls so short. Well, interestingly enough, I, w I, I didn't think that his he even really pulled off what he normally does so well, which is the little quips and the funny jokes and the yeah. and the charming like he does all that so well normally with the charming little smile and the flirty and the this and he just wasn't really he didn't really do anything that well in this movie to me 
Yeah, the, the thing is, though, and we can move on after this, like after I've seen The Gray Man and Red Notice, these big budget movies that are just on Netflix that are not really like, like Sarah says, they're marshmallows, you know, it's not, not a lot there, but they're fun to watch. The thing is, when I was watching this, I was like, oh, if we had a better actor in Kevin Hart's role, it doesn't make that movie that much better. Yeah. I've seen it with Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot and The Rock. And those aren't good <laughs> actors, but they're better actors than Kevin Hart. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't really make this movie that much better. So I, I didn't bother me that much, but it's obvious he's not that good at it. Agreed. And mm. I would say as a blanket statement for this film, there are some actors who I've seen work before, which we'll get into, but even they weren't really that good in it, which makes me think that the directing was a little bit maybe not focused. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. That being said... This was like a B version of Ocean's Eleven, and I had a lot of fun in it, you know, especially in the third act when it all started getting really exciting. The first act is a little slow. There's a lot of backstory and exposition that, uh, you know, they have to kind of do for these films, which is, it was fine and good, but it, it gets more exciting in the second and third acts where they're actually planning the heist and then attempting to execute the heist can i give you my taco bell theory what's that i love taco bell you don't have to do this much yeah exactly <laughs> but we're here in the drive-thru give we're, me a fucking taco we're here hard for or taco. soft yeah <laughs> it, that lift is at the taco bell theory where it's like you're doing a lot of exposition with these characters and like this is we're on this yacht and this chemical and this is uh, you don't have to do this much taco bell i'm gonna eat the taco pause if that's a pause but I'm like, Lyft, you don't have to do this much with this story. We're here. We're here for a good time. You know, Hijack a plane. I thought the same thing. I was like, you're you're doing too much with the story. But yeah. when I really thought about it, I was like, I guess they didn't really do that much with the story. It was just the first act seemed like, uh, eh. yeah. stop with the salad on the side. I'm here for the sandwich. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, no one's eating that. We're just here for the sandwich. We're here for the main attraction, which is... You to steal some stuff and race some cars some stuff. and, you know, fly a really cool plane. And I did think that it makes sense now that you're telling me what this. When I read the director's name, I read it as Gray Gray. <laughs> Gray Gray. His name's Gary Gray. Is that right? Yes. I was like, F. Gary Gray, yes. I, and as I was reading it, I was like, Gray Gray, what a weird, crazy name. And then I read it again and I was like, no, you're just dyslexic. And that's the way that you are. Can uh, I bring back something we haven't done in a while? Because the first and second act kind of hinges on this. What's Kevin Hart's? Let's do the Genesee Qua test. You're, Ooh. you're sitting at a bar, dive bar too. It's not a nice one. Ooh. Kevin Hart walks in. Okay. You put your drink on his head. <laughs> uh, you stole my joke. I was gonna do a short <laughs> joke. You help him up on the stool. And We're probably says, the same height, to be honest. I'm five foot two. Yeah, probably. He's and a he, lot richer. <laughs> and he does the Kevin Hart thing where in interviews where he's like positive energy. I work so hard. I look after my people. You know, all I do is this. It, He's like, you know what? You want to come back to my loft? I, you know, I got caught cheating on my wife once, but I'm changed, but I'll change it for you. What do you say? I, I don't, I'm not interested. <laughs> You're not? I mean, listen, he's a very wealthy man. Do you think he's, he's good looking? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I, he comes off and, and all power to him because like you said, he's accomplished a lot of things in Hell his yeah. life, especially from coming from like a comedian, uh, you know, just like a stand-up comedian. And now you're, you've got a tequila brand that's yes. successful. You've, you've got like all of these companies and you've got your own production company and you've got a first look deal with Netflix and you're starring in your own shows. Like, yes, let's give it up for Kevin Hart. That being said, he does come off very pompous in interviews and like he shows up drunk to things and like doesn't, I don't like that. That doesn't really do it for me. Okay, That's my surprising opinion. answer. Thank you for playing along. I do think he's handsome, though. Um, surprise, surprise. I mean, it's just, he just is. Let's call a spade a spade. Who I think is more handsome is Gugu Mbatara. Is, is it Juju or Gugu? Gugu. It's Gugu. Okay, thank you. Uh, and she was in, what's that Showtime show that, they, that just came back that I keep telling you I need to watch? I, I don't know. I'm not Showtime. HBO? Yes, I don't know. Do uh, she was in one of those shows, and it will come <laughs> to me. But we we saw her in something, and I was like, oh man, this is probably the most beautiful actress I've ever seen in my life. True Detective, the one, yeah, the last season of True Detective, I believe. Uh, and I'm I'm I will say, Asad, you'll be proud of me. I'm getting better at watching movies because this is major spoiler alert. Turn this podcast off. Don't turn this podcast off. You know, just pause it and watch the movie if you don't want to know. But there's a point where they're they're going to, in the third act, they're going to set off their plan to go and, you know, steal the thing. And one of Kevin Hart's team members says, they can't find him. They don't see him on the plane. They're like, what's going on? He calls him and he's like, I can't do it. I, I'm, I just, it's just not worth it for me. I'm too scared. 
I'm not coming. And I knew better. Aren't yeah. you proud? Oh, you predicted it, huh? Yes. I was like, I was like, he's going to come back and save the day somehow. I didn't predict exactly what was going to happen, but I was like, I bet you they're going to get into trouble and he's going to come back and be like, just kidding. Here I am. Uh, and I was right. And I also called the uh, Kevin Hart and Gaga in the beginning were talking about how she the reason that she became an F FBI agent or Interpol agent is because someone stole art from her mom, the high school that her mom worked at. And she was mad. So she was decided she was going to find that art thief when she was little. <laughs> Come on, guys. What, what a motivation. What a motivation. And then. I predicted when they put it, put that there, I was like, he's going to, at the end of the movie, he's going to find the guy who stole the painting from the high school, and he did. <laughs> Sarah, I'm going to be honest. You're proud of me? I'm very proud of you, Thank and you. you're the only person that I would find the thief who stole your art back when you were a child. <laughs> I'd do you that so for much. you. Thank you so much. I believe uh, you. <laughs> I asked the Genesee Quad Test because the first act of this movie really hinges on their his charisma, Kevin Hart's charisma, and mm -hmm. his will-they-won't-they they yep. energy with Gugu and Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. um, rate that for me. Out of one out of five, did well, the chemistry work for you or not? Well, you're you are spoiling my thorn, but um, I'm glad you noticed it as well. So we'll jump okay. into Rose and Thorn, and I'll start with Thorn. My Thorn was that I thought they didn't have any chemistry. Okay. None of the cast really had any chemistry. Yeah. And this movie, that's the Ocean's Eleven, right? That's the Ocean's Eleven. That's where that sh movie shines because you've got George Clooney and Brad Pitt and Matt Damon and all of these people who are like the chemistry is palpable, right? Uh, the 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 chemistry between the two love interest the love interests like they they kiss at some point and you're like, I did you just kiss your mom like what's happening and she's they're both very attractive people yeah. but maybe chemistry wasn't. I heard there. that kiss is how they titled the movie because you have to lift him and <laughs> that was good that was good Asad <laughs> I like that one good job <laughs> oh look at her beautiful 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 lady this is uh, tough it, it's like uh, did it work for you. Uh, well, no, I, no, it did not. No, I think Kevin Hart is funnier than people are giving him credit for now. I know he's not as funny. It, like, comedians peak, and it lasts such a short amount of time, you know. And mm -hmm. I think Kevin Hart was really funny. And now, when you age, you don't, you, you lose edge a little bit, you know. And I, and I appreciate him trying these other ventures. Like I think it's dope that he took this character. But this movie, the the shadow of good heist films looms so largely over this movie. That, that's the one thing that's a little tough to watch this movie, where it's like, I've already lowered my ex expectations because it's a Netflix movie and it's Kevin Hart or whatever. I know it's not going to be dramatic and a, and a tearjerker, but there's so many very good versions of this film that it's tough to get that out of your head, especially fucking Oceans. Yeah, uh, Oceans There's so, so much ca charisma from every fucking character, and you kind of have to get over that to kind of enjoy this film. It's still a fun watch, though. It was, and... I, I had another little nit to pick that I thought was kind of funny. Um, so the the whole time that they're 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 dealing with this really big bad guy, mm -hmm. right? We they stress it from the very beginning of the film. This is the baddest mother lover around. Okay, so he at the very end, again, major spoiler alerts from here on out. Major spoiler alerts. They crash a plane into this big bad guy's villa basically mm -hmm. not into it but on his front lawn and he nobody comes running no no security no just him with a pistol <laughs> like what's happening <laughs> so just this this guy just like walks out and he's like who are you where's my money and it's like where's the rest of what that must have been loud where's the security there's no assistance there's no maid there's no nothing like what's happening <laughs> i thought that was kind of funny but um you know i understand that certain things just have to serve the plot and that's what that was did you actually, when the heist is happening, are you actually having fun or excited? Like, because that's probably how all of these movies really work. They have to grab you and like yes. envelop you in this heist, and you have to really worry about them getting caught. Were you in that, or were you just like, "Hey, I'm just watching this, and my brain's dead"? No, I was watching. I was into okay, it. Cool. I was super cool, into it. Mm -hmm. Were you? Um, not not so much. But I I'm a nerd when it comes to heist movies. I want all the details. Mm. I love how the heist is going to happen, and I want all those details. Like, every good heist movie has the voiceover of the main actor talking about how they're going to heist something, and then <laughs> it's actually go happening as they're doing yeah. it. You know? Like, I love that shit so much. That's because so. that's what you want to be. You want to be that guy who gives the, hey, here's how it's going to work. You, yeah. Your job is this. Your job is that. Uh, You're going to steal the gold. <laughs> I definitely do, and you ruined one of my questions later, so I'll ask you now. Okay. Who are you in the group? Are you the leader? Are you the engineer? Are you the getaway driver? Ooh. Who are you? Who is Sarah in Ooh, one of the high schools? this is a fun question. Yeah. What well, are you, what, what are you um, best suited as? 
I think I am. I'm the kind of uh, crazy this guy. I'm this wh white guy. You're you're the white guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you went very literal there. Well, no, I'm the white. He's a little um <laughs> the white. No, I you know everyone wants to be the ingenue, and she got to kick some ass in it. But yeah. he was a little like. You never know. He's a little. What's the word? Where he's a little like. You never know what he's gonna do. He's a little crazy. Yeah. And he's I dig like, it. oh yeah, let's do it. This sounds fun. And they're like, you might die. It's not fun. And yeah. he's like, no, yeah, let's do it. It sounds fun. And he got to actually hack the safe and and do some cool little espionage spy stuff. So so I I, I want to be him. I thought B that was fun. Bigger compliment if I'm like, hey Sarah, we gotta knock off this place. I want you to be the gymnast person that has to do like these crazy flexible moves in the vault. Yes. Or two. Wear a very sexy dress and be the distraction. Ooh, uh, gymnast in the vault. Okay. No, I can't take. I, I can't take it. My heart can't take it. I'll, I'll wear the dress. I'll wear the dress. <laughs> I don't think I've got the 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 stuff for that, but yeah. for that role. But if I'm in my imagination, I also can't do any flips. So I guess okay. you know, if so, this is a made up world, I'm 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 wearing the dress because it's too much anxiety. So not to be literal, but third act ends. Does it actually land the plane for you, this film? In terms of the ending, like how are you feeling about the ending? Yes. Okay. My favorite parts of this film were when they were explaining how they were going to do the deal, yes. right? How Kevin, when Kevin Hart's like, here's, here's what everybody's going to do, Assad's role of you're going to do this, you're going to do that, and then you have to be doing this. Um, I really liked the the French girl driving the plane. I don't know if she's French or Italian. Uh, driving the plane, you know, the the stealthy yes. plane. I liked mm -hmm. I liked that role too. That was really fun and cool. And I love that they gave that to a female, and she's just like badass, just like flying this whatever really stealthy, cool, expensive Iron Man jet. Um, and then the actual once they're once the heist is in play and we're getting some action finally. Even though the movie starts with action, but it quickly like dismissed right they're just starting it off that way just to hook the audience and then you're left sitting with all of this talk about why they have to do it and how kevin hart knows gaga and all that stuff but or Goog is it google i'm so sorry yeah, google. google um and all that but that's all boring to me but when the action was happening i was in okay. that was my favorite part and i actually finished this movie woke up couldn't go back to sleep at like six in the morning so i was like oh i guess i'll finish lift and I turned it on, and it was right at the action part. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going back to sleep today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it, it really did work for me. I really thought that was fun. What's your rose and thorn? Do you have one? I, I do. Um, I already gave my thorn, but. Yeah, I, I have I have a rose. Yoon Ji Kim, who okay. plays Mi Soon. Uh-huh. I believe in it. Yeah. I thought she was very elegant in the film. Yes. Uh, where I'm like, oh, I could have used 10 more minutes of her. I agree. She had a pretty small role, and I think she might have been the only one, even though I've seen... Gugu act in other things where yeah. she was excellent. I don't even think she acted that well in this, but that might have been due to the chemistry like we noted already. Yeah. I did notice that 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 young lady was excellent and that she I actually bought her. Yeah. Although I did did you uh, when she's on the plane every time she talked into her intercom, she touched her ear. Oh yeah, that's not that's not how it works, ma'am. That's pilots don't have to do that. They have to actually have to fly the plane. Uh, no, no, the the girl, she was sitting in a chair, oh, and, and she was okay. just like every time she would talk. And I'm like, if you're trying to be stealthy, maybe don't touch your earpiece. <laughs> but maybe they felt like they had to really sell it. Um, did you oh, do your rose and thorn? Already? I did. Yeah, my no, uh, my rose is my favorite part of the film is the flight scene when they're on the commercial jet cool. and they have to um, Goo Goo and Kevin Hart have to kick some ass. Beautiful jet, by the way. Beautiful All of it. Jet. All Beautiful that, jet. Yeah, well, they're on some fictional airline, I guess, but they missed opportunity for a um, sponsor. Spirit, this is why you keep fucking up, man. <laughs> get that yellow plane in the air. Get it on get, this movie. Get those. Get those little. Um, charge them for the their backpacks. Charge them for their purses. <laughs> charge them for their watches. Charge them for everything. Uh, and then again, my thorn, just so that we're consistent, is not a lot of chemistry between the the love interests, the yeah. main leads of this film. And what's yeah. your thorn? Um, I was gonna say that as well. Like, it, I, I wouldn't have minded it so much, but they kept trying to have like ongoing bits, you mm -hmm. know, like five days, no, it was a week, and I was like, oh, that, that should work. But like, if this chemistry is not working, that bit is always just a reminder of the chemistry not working. Like, yes. you should have mowed past this in editing. So. Totally agree. I thought mm -hmm. this, I, all of those things bumped me. So it's, I always love it when I think something in my head and then you say it out loud. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I had that same thought. Uh, my gummy rating for this is. 
Vanessa, you ready? <laughs> Three do. gummies. Oh shit! So you gotta go pretty lit. It's lit for you in that movie theater. You're just like. That's not so bad. It's four, four, four and five is where we're getting. Three is like mid, you know, okay. maybe two point five. But it was, it was fun. I had a really fun time in it. It's, I'm just, I guess that rating is to say, it doesn't take a lot of brain power to watch this yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was really fun, and it was on Netflix, so I don't have any trailer trash. Okay. Um, okay. Three burning questions to get, and it. Let's do it. Is this better if it's rated R slash or serious, this movie? No. It's not? No. Okay. Uh, do you know what a villa is? Yes. What? It's a, it's, it's a castle in Europe. I don't, I don't know what a villa is. It's just, I think it's just, it has to be in, like, France, Italy, or Spain, for sure. And it's got to have more than six rooms. Okay. You know why drugs are tough? That. It's like when you do a drug, you're always chasing the first time you did it because it's such a good experience. I'm do I'm kind of worried that Jacob Batalon's career is this in Spider-Man. Who that? Uh, the bald friend of Peter Parker in the Spider-Man movies oh, who played yeah. N.A. in this film. I'm mm -hmm. kind of worried if like he peaked too soon and he's going to be chasing that high. I don't think he's that good of an actor. No. You know, and I think it might be downhill. For I don't wish that on anybody, but how do you feel about him? Yeah, I think he was great in Spider-Man, and I'm so grateful for what he's given us. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't... He can coast. Yeah, he can just do whatever he wants, and okay. I don't care to see him or not see him. I, I, <laughs> I hope he's well. <laughs> but I did like the the NFT thing in the beginning. I thought that was like a cool kind of twist on, you know... Yeah, that's current. ...stealing an art piece. Uh, any last thoughts, Asad, before I say goodbye to our friends? I just want to wish all my nope. fans nope, mo nope, motivation. Nope, 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 back you know? to me, back to me. The thing that, the why people don't <laughs> succeed is because they, they don't find it in themselves, you know? I'm always positive, I'm always motivated, I'm always working, um, and, and I wish that for you. You all had to just watch that. Um, that was Asad's Kevin Hart impression. Um, on that note, thank you all so much for watching and joining us today. And anytime that you tune in or listen, we are very appreciative. Please subscribe, smash that like button, as the song likes to say. Thank you, a special thank you to our Patreon members and our YouTube subscribers. We really appreciate you. You keep the lights on. And we will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.